Hi guys, my name is Richard and I'm back with another cat character design sketch in Photoshop. This is actually part of a series of speed paints that I've been doing and it's so much fun and I've been learning loads. Um, today we're going to be painting this guy. So let's jump in. So here we are back in Photoshop and just splodging in the background as usual it's just to get a bit of lighting happening in there, just an indication of the lighting. Doesn't need to be much at this stage. And then straight in with the sketch. Um, now on the other ones that I did, I went straight in with the splodge brush. Um, but on this one, I wanted to, the, the pose was quite tricky in this one, so I wanted to just make sure, and feminine characters um, were quite sleek and slender and sexy, so I just wanted to make sure all the curves were going to be uh, happening uh, as I wanted them to happen. Um, so that's why I started to spend a bit more time on the sketch. And also her expression is going to be quite sexy and quite subtle, so again, a little bit more time just making sure that was working for me. And, and you'll see that the back of her hips, I've drawn a line across because I really want to remind, keep myself reminded of the sexy pose I'm trying to go for and where the weight is happening on her hips. And so you, you can see that um, I've just drawn a diagonal line which is looking at the piece as it is now, it's the weight is on her right leg, you know, where 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 the hip is up, that's where the weight is, where the hip is down, that's where the where, that's where the weight isn't as much. Um, so that's I just want to keep reminding of that. It'll get painted out eventually. But, um, it's good to, to draw in those uh, reminders as you're going along. Another great um, thing I often do is to draw an arrow in the top corner just to show where the light is coming from because when you're flipping it backwards and forwards um, sometimes, sometimes you forget and it's just a good, uh, again it's a good reminder. Now uh, that's a good point actually, why do I keep flipping it? Now that's this one, uh, in this piece I do flip it more than usual, it's a bit of a nervous twitch but um, <laughs> the uh, the reason that I am flipping it is because I'm trying to refresh my eye, um, just almost to, to shock it into seeing the piece again. And like I say, this was I found this one quite tricky. I always found feminine characters more tricky, um, but I'm, I'm flipping it to try and refresh my eye and just see the see the um, see the structural oddities happening and expression isn't quite working. You know, it's the same way, I'm sure you've all had it, if uh, you finished a piece and you think it's amazing, and then you come back to it in a few days time, you look at it, and it's not quite as good as you remember it being. Um, flipping your piece is a great way just to mitigate that, just to, just to try and um, just to, just to see the piece again, really. And so if, you, if you're if you on pencil and paper, just hold it up to a mirror. Or if you're in Photoshop, you can just flip the whole canvas. Um, so that's a great, great habit to get into. Maybe not as much as I do, and I know that I do it quite a lot. Um, but it is a bit of a nervous twitch <laughs> when, I'm drawing, when I'm designing. Especially, especially as, I, as I'm... Uh, uh, I never know how it's gonna turn out. I mean, that's quite that's the the exciting bit about drawing. Really, it's uh, you get about halfway through and it just looks oh, it's sort of on a balance. I always feel like it's on a balance. It could go either way. You just gotta keep working it, just keep working it, keep working it, and it usually turns out okay. Um, flipping it helps that. So. Using, uh, just using the uh, the amazing, amazing brush technique, in, which uh, all credit to Aaron Blaze for that 
it's um, it's just the smudge tool and he's got an amazing amazing channel which you should go and check out he was an ex he's an ex Disney animator creature designer directed brother bear worked on Lion King I mean he is just awesome so go check his stuff out the art of Aaron Blaze amazing amazing guy um, and so this piece is really she's coming to an end now just putting it in the sexy lighting in the eyes and really kept this one really loose I mean there's the like I say the detail is in the face around the face just to uh, that's where I want the audience's eye to go more detail that's where it goes one of the ways to get the audience eyes to add more detail so I like to keep that in and around the face area and now just adjusting the background and the lighting and the texture just a little bit of tooth and end. I'm really happy with how this one turned out. Really nice lighting. So there we go. So I hope you liked the video. If you did like the video make sure to leave a like and a comment and let me know what you thought. And make sure to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest videos as they come out. And if you do want to get started creating your own cat character designs in Photoshop, head on over to www.animationjuice.com forward slash cat sketching. And there you'll find an awesome step-by-step -step, in depth tutorial on how to get started and create your own. So check it out. That's it for this video. Until the next one, see you later.